George Lucas. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities. He is an American filmmaker and entrepreneur. I will not let this republic be split in two. My negotiations will not fail. If they do, they aren't a... He was born in Modesto, California, United States on May 14, 1944. His father's name is George Walton Lucas, and mother's name is Dorothy Bomberger. His father was the owner of a stationery store. He was mostly raised in the neighborhood of the Central Valley town of Modesto. Since his younger days, he was passionate about cars and motor racing. He spent most of his school days in racing competitions and underground circuits. He initially dreamt of making a career in car racing, but changed his mind after he met with a near-death car accident on June 12, 1962. He attended the Modesto Junior College, where among many other subjects he also studied anthropology, sociology and literature. He later attended the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts and obtained a degree in Fine Arts and Film Studies in 1967. He tried to join the United States Air Force but was rejected because of his speeding tickets. The Council wants you to report on all the Chancellor's dealings. That's treason. We are at war, Anakin. While he was a student at the Southern California School of Cinematic Arts, he made a number of short films, Look at Life, Herbie, Free Heat, 142.08 and The Emperor. I'm appointing you to be my personal representative on the Jedi Council. You are on this council, but we do not agree. In 1967, he directed and wrote the short science fiction film titled, Electronic Labyrinth, THX 11384 EB. The film won the first prize at the National Student Film Festival. In 1973, he directed and co-wrote the film titled, American Graffiti, which was a coming-of-age film. In 1977, he directed and wrote the American epic space opera film titled, Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. In 1978, he received the Evening Standard British Film Award for the category of Best Film for this film. In 1978, the following year, he was one of the creators and executive producers of the TV show, Star Wars Holiday Special. In 1979, he produced and co-wrote the comedy-drama film, More American Graffiti. The next year, he served as the executive producer of the films, Kajimusha and Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. In 1980, he won the Hugo Award for the category of Best Dramatic Presentation for the film, Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know what I'd like to do? 
like it when you do that. Sorry, Master. I forgot you don't like flying. Well, you've lost it. In 1981, he co-wrote and produced the fantasy adventure film Raiders of the Lost Ark, also known as Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I see you becoming the greatest of all Jedi. Boy has exceptional. That year, he was also the unaccredited executive producer of the film Body Heat. In 1983, he co-wrote the screenplay for the third film in the Star Wars series, Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. In this year he won the Hugo Award for the category of Best Dramatic Presentation for the film. He can see things before they happen. He can help you. The same year, he was the executive producer of the animated film, Twice Upon a Time. In 1984, he wrote the story for Steven Spielberg's fantasy adventure film, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The following year, he wrote the story for the TV film, The Ewok Adventure. In 1985, he was the executive producer for the films, Latino and Misima, of Life in Four Chapters. That year, he also produced the TV shows, Star Wars Droids, The Adventures of R2-D2 and C-3PO, Ewoks and Ewoks, The Battle for Ender. When we came under your command, Colonel, you stated very clearly that we would never find... In 1986, he was the executive producer for Howard the Duck, Labyrinth and Poacatsi. After two years, he was the executive producer for the films Willow, Tucker, The Man and His Dream in the Land Before Time. Aerial kill. It's damn hard to shoot down the enemy a hundred miles behind the front line. In 1989, he co-wrote and produced the Steven Spielberg film, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. In 1992, he created and developed the American TV series, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Then I was awake. And I need help. After two years, he co-wrote and produced the film, Radioland Murders. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough. Then. In 1999, he wrote and directed the American epic space opera, Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. In 2002, he wrote and directed the fifth film in the Star Wars series of films, Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. In 2003, he co-created the Emmy Award-winning animated micro-series, Star Wars Clone Wars. In 2005, he wrote and directed the sixth film in the Star Wars series of films, Star Wars Episode III, Revenge of the Sith. In 2008, he co-wrote the story for the fourth film in the Indiana Jones series, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. In 2008, that year, he also co-produced the film, Star Wars, The Clone Wars. In 2012, he was the executive producer of the American war film, Red Tails. In 1969, he married Marshall Lou Griffin, a film editor. Together they adopted a girl, Amanda Lucas. They divorced in 1983. As a single father, he adopted two children, Katie Lucas and Jed Lucas. 
he was romantically involved with singer Linda Ronstadt. He dated Melody Hobson, president of Ariel Investments and chair of DreamWorks Animation, whom he later married in 2013. He is the founder of the non-profit organization, the George Lucas Educational Foundation, which aims to foster innovation in schools.